All right, thanks. So um, I'm excited to be here and thanks for uh, the opportunity to present and thanks for the organizers for putting it all together. Um, I am a statistician, a data scientist who um, works in academia. I develop new statistical methodology that uh, I hope you know, makes data analysis better. And what I want to do is get these new methods into the hands of users. And um, I pr primarily use R. And uh, I found Rust to be a great tool to help me um, develop my algorithms and get them out to users. Um, so I want to just talk a little bit about some framework and some tools I have to help you develop R packages using Rust. Now, for the sake of speed, R packages are oftentimes developed um, in C or C++. Um, R provides a C API, um, and uh, it's it's frankly not it's it's documented, but but sometimes you don't know exactly what a function is going to do until you try it. Uh, there is an extensive uh, documentation called Writing R Extensions. It talks about how to make package documentation, the directory structure, how to interface with C plus plus and 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 Fortran code, etc. Um, but there's something like 20,000 user contributed packages on CRAN. Now, CRAN is the R equivalent to Rust Crates IO. It's the package uh, repository. And um, the, the culture, though, is quite different between Crates IO and uh, CRAN. Uh, CRAN has very much um, uh, human involvement in the publication process of your, of your package, a lot of uh, checking to make sure it, it matches their style guides. Um, and frankly, there's some cultural differences between R and Rust, and that's one of the things that we've um, helped to uh, solve here is how to how to make those cultural differences uh, be bridged in a CRAN compliant way. Um, many packages, however, um, uh, don't use the C API. They use um, a C++, maybe using the R CPP package or the CPP11 package, and there are just a ton of packages here that all depend on RCPP. And so what I'm hoping to do, something like 12% um, of all packages, 15% of all packages use RCPP. What I'm hoping to do though, is to provide a, a means by which you could develop R packages using Rust. I wanna make it an um, uh, idiosyncratic interface between, I wanna uh, bridge the idiosyncrasies between R and Rust and make it an idiomatic uh, interface. I have uh, three packages already on CRAN that use uh, Rust. One of the big challenges of, of getting those packages on there was to get the CRAN servers to have the Rust compilers, the Rust tool chains uh, installed. And we were able to uh, negotiate that. And that was uh, great. Um, also, these, uh, this, this framework I have, this cargo package that I have, this R package in, in, in R called cargo that facilitates writing um, packages using Rust. Um, can also um, directly embed um, Rust code in an R script, which can be helpful for quick testing. Now I'm preaching to the choir here. I'm, I know you guys are already converted on Rust and so I'll just skip these slides. I just wanna say that I'm not a professionally trained uh, computer scientist, um, but I found to be myself to have a lot of productivity uh, using Rust in that um, it requires me to think carefully about um, my implementation. And then once you know, I negotiate with the compiler, I can have very robust, uh, very fast uh, parallel code that oftentimes works the first time. And that's very refreshing. Um, what I would say though, is if you um, are self thinking about um, doing some kind of scientific computing, uh, you might want to leverage R to help you um, take advantage of this wide variety of um, already implemented methods and know that you can bring your Rust uh, skills to, to the table. Um, so let me show you, we have um, this cargo package. Now that's maybe a, a poor name because of course cargo is Rust package management system, but the cargo package on CRAN is this uh, package that I wrote that facilitates accessing cargo and the Rust ecosystem from R. And uh, it's available on CRAN. Um, the development version, however, is a little more recent. Right now, CRAN is down, is not accepting um, uh, submissions. So you can install the development version from GitHub. Um, once you have it installed though, you could like make a, uh, install and create a new package. So I just wanna do that on the fly here. 
here I am in my R prompt, and I'm going to say cargo new package plus prompt sign. And it's going to then make me a skeleton of an R package that's all ready to go with uh, Rust. I can load my package that I just, I just made. And then I could call one of the functions uh, in the package, say generate 10 uh, values from a standard normal distribution. Um, the, the directory structure is very standard uh, for people that are familiar with writing R packages except um, what is unusual is we have this um, subdirectory in the source directory called Rust, where we have then um, the Roxito subdirectory and the Roxito macro, and that's what facilitates interfacing R and Rust. The end user, you as a developer of your particular package, would probably spend most of your time developing in this uh, source libs.rs value. Here is the uh, code for that, um, my R norm function that we just called a minute ago. And this is allowing us to access the uh, C API from um, R. Uh, so what I would just point out though, is because we're using um, Rust and all the nice features that we have, um, whereas in C, we would have to be very careful with are protecting the memory that we generate within one of our functions. This is a, a function from the um, uh, documentation about writing R extensions, this time in C. You have to be very careful about protecting the memory. But one of the cool things about the uh, implementation in Rust is we have a more idi idiomatic interface that um, doesn't require us to explicitly protect things. That uh, because seven that's minutes, if you could sum up quite quickly. Okay, great, right. glad to do that. Um, just to say that we use the drop uh, interface and that makes it uh, work nicely. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I would be remiss though if I didn't mention another project that also is trying to interface R and Rust and that's the Extend R project. And so if you're interested in Rust and R interfacing, you all should also check out the Extend R project. All right, thank you very much.